All right, how's it going, everyone? Um, I keep trying to make a fucking video, and I keep getting interrupted, and I'm getting really pissed off now. But I'm going to try to get this across before I fucking explode. Because I, I hate being interrupted while I'm making videos, and it, I, nothing will happen all day. I'll, I'll be able to do anything else and not get any interruptions whatsoever. But as soon as I start making a fucking video... Nobody can shut the fuck up, and nobody can stop just screwing with me. The dogs will start barking and shit like that. It's so annoying. It's insanity every single time. And I also get messages from people online, conveniently, always when I'm making videos. No other time. I mean, I get messages randomly, but always when I make a video. It's like people hone in and they're like, oh, he's making a video right now. I better message him because it'll go bing on the fucking video. But anyways, what I want to talk about, I'm sure you can tell from the title of the video, it's, I want to talk about, you know, the douchebag guitar community and, you know, the, the abundance of assholes that are within this guitar community and why I cannot fucking stand them and why they, they are not indicative of the real guitar community in the real world. You know, most of these people are a bunch of, they're either old fucking dudes that barely even play guitar, that have had them for fucking years, but never even play them and shit, but think they know everything about them just because they're old. Or they're fucking a bunch of young douchebags and shit that listen to people online and they've taken a bunch of shit that one guy says and they think that that's the gospel and that's the way everything is. That's how a lot of these people are. They get, their, they get their information from one source, and you can tell this because they regurgitate the same shit that you fucking hear a million times from every one of these kind of douchebags. They always have the same sort of call signs that they say. And it, it, you can tell they're not real players. They're not real musicians. They're not real guitar lovers. They're just the kind of people that enjoy guitars and then like to... It, it, they enjoy going online and talking a bunch of shit to everyone else and pretending that they know more than everyone else and shitting on everyone else because they think they have inside information. And they don't. Again, they're just faceless nobodies that have nothing to show for themselves. That's what I can't stand on here. There's, a, there's quite a few different aspects to these kind of people that I cannot fucking stand. One of them is the way, for one, the way they regurgitate other people's information that they get. And they, they think it's correct, but most of the time it isn't. But they think it's the gospel and they'll fight to the death to fucking say that it is. But, you know, real guitar players are the types of people that take everything with a grain of salt and will try to apply it themselves and figure things out on their own. They don't just take things, you know, that people say and start regurgitating what they're saying. They, you know, you take it for yourself and you try to figure it out yourself and come to your own conclusion off of information that you gather. And you've got to listen to information from all types and all types of different places. These people are the people that always are so quick to try to dismiss real guitar companies, big guitar companies, which is that, that aspect of these type of people is the dumbest aspect. I, I cannot explain how fucking stupid these people are for what they do and how they act with that kind of shit. They have this shit in their head that they like to think that bigger guitar companies somehow have this you know, there's this conspiracy that they just want your money, so they lie to you to try to get more of your money. When it's completely asinine, and the bigger guitar companies have less of a reason to lie to people to try to get more money. See, these types of guitar companies will always make what they make, and they will always sell what they sell, regardless of what they say, and regardless of any lies or anything. Because most guitar players in this world, most people that, you know, are buying guitars or getting guitars for the first time and things, they don't really give a fuck. They don't really, they're not really so focused on the instrument and into every aspect of it. 
It's usually something like, all right, well, it feels good, it sounds good, it looks good, well, I like it, I'll buy it. That's about the extent of most people buying guitars. Then there's a subculture like me that is a complete nerd about guitars that likes everything about guitars. But these are also the type of people that, oh, no, I also want to say, they, they think that these bigger guitar companies have to lie to get more money when it makes no sense. Again, they'll make whatever they make regardless of what they say because these instruments, they're not, <laughs> they have everything backwards. They think, oh, people are just buying that because of the name. And it's like, no, the name is there. The name is big because of the instruments they make. Like if, if, they, if, if Fender and Gibson really were making legitimately shit guitars, like people try to pretend that they do, which is absolute shit, it's stupid as fuck. They might, you know, come out with a few guitars that aren't that great, but making shit guitars, no, you're fucking wrong, period. And they, they'll try to act like, oh, they make shit guitars and people only buy them for fucking the name. It's like, no, they make amazing guitars and people buy them because they're fucking great guitars. And <laughs> especially because things like Gibson and, and they, they really, they have staying power. They accrue money over time because of the value of the name of that the company has created for themselves. It's not off of just having a fucking name. You have to create a product that makes that name something. And it's not as if that just disappeared. And you know, if if they hadn't been, if they really had genuinely haven't been making good guitars for decades, people would not be fucking buying them. It's a f absolute cop out. That's one thing I cannot stand about these type of people. They're totally full of shit. You know, whatever they can say to fit their 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 preconceived notions and their agenda with that, they'll fucking spew it out without really thinking about it. And it's like, okay, the smaller people, you know, you, you want to sit there and act like it's the big guys that need to lie to sell their guitars, which is stupid and not true. The The, the smaller guys have more absolutely more of a fucking reason to try to lie to get their guitars sold over top of those guys because they want to make it out like their guitars are custom made and they're way better and they weigh, they make you know they they don't waste time with all this extra shit and blah 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 but they charge way too much for their fucking guitars these are the people that have more reason to lie to people to try to sell their instruments because they are trying to make a business for themselves and make a living off of that. Guitar companies like that, they could literally make a guitar full of shit. They could make a, an acrylic guitar, one of those like acrylic clear guitars with the water in it, and have poop floating around in it, and people would fucking buy it because, wow, it still sounds good and it plays great. I mean, it's, it's one of those types of things. It's like, well, if you think that people are just buying them just because of the name, you're full of shit absolutely full of shit and you know places like like when people talk about tonewood and things like that you know a lot of the time that's not even a fucking huge selling point of any of those people's guitars you know most of the time when like places like prs and shit like that when they're talking about different kinds of woods and things like that it's more about an aesthetic thing it's not so much about how, what the tone's gonna be like they will talk about it and it's funny that people, you know, will immediately try to dismiss that all these fucking huge companies that have been successful and have made the greatest instruments on the planet and are successful because of that fact, because that's the only way to get successful in a free market. People don't realize that. It's not as if these people just magically started selling shitloads of guitars, but they were making crap guitars. And they were just lying to people about Tonewood and things like that. It's, it's fucking retarded that people try to act like that. And it's a complete cop-out. And when, they, when you talk about like, well, you know, the guitar luthiers for these different companies that have worked there and done this for decades and decades will tell you about this. Oh, that's just an appeal to authority, fallacy, blah, blah, blah. No, 
you're fucking, you're retarded. That's not an appeal to authority fallacy. What you're doing is trying to dismiss what these people are saying just on the simple fact that they are an authority within the guitar community. And let's face it, the like places like Gibson and Fender and PRS, and these are the elites for a reason because they build better guitars than others. It's just the way it is. And so, you know, as much as people want to talk and blah, 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 all they can say, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to always want to take the, the advice of the people that are successful and know what they're doing and really have a vested interest in the instrument making itself. You know, it's not so much about trying to just sell the instrument for these kind of people. Again, they make that money regardless of what they fucking say and do with the guitars. They will always just make that money because they make quality instruments. That's the most important part. It's not about what they say. It's about what they do with the guitar. That's the reason they're successful. People like Paul Reed Smith, he fucking, he is an artisan with guitars. He makes beautiful, beautiful instruments that play godly good and intonate well and every he just what he does is a work of art it's not because he sits there and talks about tone wood that's not the fucking selling point for people and that's what i don't understand with people they they just get off on these tangents about things that it's just retarded and it shouldn't even be talked about because for one it's not a big aspect of anyone's guitar selling whatsoever it's just an aspect of it and they tried to discredit it. And it's like, who the fuck are you to discredit anything? Any any one of these people that try to naysay that kind of shit. Who are you? Who are you to do that? It, I, like, I, that's what I never have understood about these kind of people. Most of them are faceless nobodies with nothing to show for themselves once again. And it's like, how come you're so vocal about these types of things? Why do you care so much? Do you think you're being robbed? You know, you don't have to buy these instruments, right? It, none of it makes any sense. But anyways, I'll get off of that. There's, you know, also this little culture of people that, you know, are just arrogant people. They, they think that guitar playing is all about, you know, sweeps and fucking how you can shred and things like that. And they don't really understand what it means to be an actual musician. You know, not everyone is just a guitar player online. You know, not everyone's just sitting there fucking masturbating their guitar over and over on fucking screen. Some of us are actual musicians and they we work on things to create music, create cohesive music that can be, you can integrate other instruments into it and create songs out of it. Most of these people don't understand what that takes and what that entails. So they are the type of people that, you know, if you're not sitting there shredding a bunch or you're not, you know, doing whatever the fuck they like, they got to talk a bunch of shit about it. And you're playing and things like that. Oh, you should learn how to play, you fucking loser, and this and that. And again, these are always the people that have absolutely nothing to show for themselves. This is the thing that all, that's the thing that always pisses me off. It's always the people with the biggest fucking mouths on YouTube are always the people that have nothing to show for themselves and have absolutely no right to say anything to anyone else because they have nothing to show for themselves. You know, it's really easy to sit there and criticize other people. And, you know, I would never, ever, ever go around criticizing other people if I was not going to put myself out there, too. You know what I mean? It just seems like a cowardly fucking thing to do. To sit there and shit on other people for what they do, but you're not doing anything yourself. Who the fuck are you to say anything to these people? At least they're doing something. At least they're up and have the balls to actually put themselves out there for other people to see. That's that's a big thing to me. Like, I have to give people respect when they, you know, they let their guard down and they actually put themselves out there for other people to see and stuff. Yeah, if they're fucking terrible and sitting there going... If they're just like, if they're like that, yeah, then yeah, okay, I understand it. But 
if it's just not your style. You know, that's a that's a lot of the shit talking that I see is that, you know, people like, oh, your fucking metal's gay and shit like that. And it's like, you're gay. Like, <laughs> why, why even waste your time posting the comment? Because, uh, you know, nobody, it, no, it, nothing ever comes of that. There's absolutely no point whatsoever. But that seems to be more of an abundance than the good people, you know, having conversations about guitar and coming and talking about things. Um, for instance, you know, like I make these pick videos and shit, and it's just, it kind of shows me how many douchebags are out there. You know, I'm the type of person, I love guitars, I love everything about them. When I say everything about them, I mean fucking everything about them. I am, I, I love everything about them. The fucking binding, the frets, the saddles, every single thing about guitars I'm interested in, especially picks. And there's this fucking asshole that comes to my page and he goes, oh, dude, picks don't matter. It's all about your hands. All the tone comes from your hands. And it's like, yeah, okay. What form did you hear that on, you fucking dickhead? Yeah, everyone fucking says that. I understand that that's a common thing that's said in the guitar community. And, you know, it's not completely wrong. But to sit there and pretend that picks don't make any difference, you're a fucking idiot. You have to be a literal idiot to sit there and act that way. You know, and he, he sits there and comes at me like with that. And it's like, I don't think you understand what I'm even doing with my videos. It's not as if I'm, you know, sitting in the videos going, okay, picks, they, they, that's, this is where all your tone's at. It's all in the pick, you know? <laughs> that's what he, they act like. Anytime you make some sort of video where you're trying to show something that's different from the norm. You know, it seems like everyone wants to watch the same stupid shit over and over. And so I make these pick videos because I look around, there's not very many like pick videos where people are really showing all different kinds, all different shapes, what they do, the sounds that they make, everything. So I'm trying to make this pick series to kind of enlighten people because before I ever switched with the kinds of picks I played, I, I was those, the kind of person that thought, you know, a pick is a pick is a pick. And no, that's not true at all. Like, picks can make a huge difference in the way you play. Literally, the, the way you play guitar and what you play. You know, you'll get certain picks in your hands that it'll make you want to play bluesy type shit. And then you'll get other shit and it'll kind of make that kind of jazzy sound. Like that. That kind of bright sort of Django-y kind of sound. You know, it's it, it's those types of things. Those types of things will change everything about your guitar playing. And it'll make you want to go off and do different things. It's all inspiration. And this is the whole reason I'm trying to make these videos and shit. And you can see how few guitar players appreciate this these kinds of things. And it shows that, you know, there's very few true guitar lovers out there. Most of these people are just wannabes that really have, they, they just want to see what they want to see. They want to be fed what they want. They don't, they're not interested in everything about the guitar. Like, people could be seriously talking about the most mundane shit with guitar and I'll fucking watch it because I'm interested in it. And I like to learn everything I can about every square inch of any guitar or bass or anything like that. I, I'm just, I love instruments. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's pretty telling when, you know, you have over a thousand subscribers and you only get like 150 views on a fucking pick video, you know, that you've just, you spent a bunch of time getting all these picks, a bunch of time, bunch of money, contacting different people, different pick makers and stuff, um, trying to get all these different kinds to show people, to enlighten them, to kind of open their minds on different things that they're maybe not used to. Because a lot of people just think a pick is a pick is a pick, and that's not the way it is. It, it can drastically change quite a few different things. It's not everything. And to say that, oh, 
all the tones in your hands. No, that's not true. All the tone is in literally everything about the guitar and everything you do with it. You know, it, that, that's just the kind of saying that people say. It's the most of the tone is in the way you fret chords, the way you fret notes, the way you bend, the way you pluck strings, the way you strum, and that can be changed with the pick that you use. It's a big aspect of the guitar playing. These are the kinds of things that people try to undercut and don't really realize how much fun and how, how different things can be when you change them. And it's one of the cheapest ways to do it, to change your tone and change your style. So it's things like that that kind of deter me from making guitar videos on YouTube is because there just seems to be too many douchebags that don't really actually care about guitars and everything about the guitar. You know, they don't want to learn. They want to be told what they want to hear and they want to re reaffirm to themselves that they know everything. That's what I see. I see a lot of people that think they know everything that just want to hear what they want to hear to tell themselves, okay, yeah, I do know everything. That guy said what I wanted him to say, so that's all good. If he doesn't say what I want him to say, then I'm going to flip out and talk a bunch of shit all over his fucking channel. It's, you know, it, it takes the fun out of all of this. And especially when you have people that are just total douchebags where you, you try to do something like this, like the pick things, where you're... You're trying to open people's minds to things that most people just don't really, they look right past it. And then you have assholes that come and try to act like, oh, it's just worthless again. And it's like, it's not. And that's the whole point of my video is trying to open minds. Like I haven't even begun on this, you know, this whole pick journey thing that I'm trying to do. I have several videos left to do that are going to show how different picks sound and, and the way they kind of, the way they feel and the way they play and different things. I want to get in depth with this kind of shit, but I don't want to do it if people are just going to sit there with their thumbs up their ass and act like, oh, it's just a pick. It's just a pick. Uh, the, 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 the classic fucking line, oh, why don't you stop fucking around with that and learn how to play the guitar? And these people, once again, the irony is crazy because these people are always the fucking idiots that have nothing to show for themselves. They're telling people like me to learn how to play the guitar when I have whole lists of fucking videos of me playing the guitar and they have nothing to show for themselves. But yet yeah, they're the type of people that are always the ones that try to talk shit like that. That's what I cannot stand. I'm sure... There's tons of guitar video makers and content creators and stuff that can, you know, attest to this. There's too many of these kinds of assholes that just try to ruin the fun for everyone else. You know what I mean? They'll come into comment sections and shit all over people if they're not saying what they want them to say. And that's the kind of shit that I just, I will not fucking stand for. I will not have it. Not on my channel. So, what I look for... And what I try to do with my channel, what I'm trying to keep doing and trying to get back into the guitar stuff is show people things that not everyone is fucking showing. You know what I mean? Not everyone is ever talking about, you know, different kinds of picks and the way they can change your style and the way they kind of inspire you to do different things. That's the biggest aspect of it. Finding inspiration from things is a huge thing about a huge part of guitar playing is finding inspiration and that you can find different inspiration for different types of music and different types of playing with just a fucking pick is a big deal to me. That's the reason I'm trying to put in the fucking time to make these videos. And I don't think people quite understand that. It's like, I don't know. I don't really know what goes through people's minds. But for just what I'm seeing so far, it's like people don't seem to understand what the hell I'm trying to do with this whole pick deal. Just trying to open minds, not sit there and reaffirm closed minds. I, 
I cannot stand the closed-minded people that think they have it all figured out. It, more guitar players in this community need to just shut the fuck up, sit back, and learn. And if you think you have the information that is relevant enough to put it out on video, then make your own fucking videos. Don't sit there and talk shit in the comment sections of other people's videos. Make your fucking own. And then put it up there for everyone else to scrutinize. Because that's what someone with balls would do. Is make their own fucking videos before they start criticizing. You know what? I never made any fucking videos until I wanted to criticize Scott Grove. Until I wanted to talk, uh, talk about him. And what did I do? I didn't go in his comment section to talk a bunch of shit. I made my own videos to voice my opinions and what I thought. Now I'm fine with Scott. Like, I, I, I don't think he's that bad of a guy, you know? He's calmed down quite a bit nowadays, and I've actually been watching some of his videos and stuff. I think he has me blocked still, though. I'm not sure, but... You know, I have no problem with these other content creators that I did have a problem with, because we worked out our shit, got over our stuff, you know, some of these things just have to d agree to disagree, because... It's the way it is, but, you know, we, we still have this common ground where we love guitars and we, we love everything about the guitar. And, you know, there's not one single aspect that seems more important than the other to me. The guitar is one cohesive unit. It's one thing. It's all these different parts put together to create one cohesive unit and one great instrument that you can create all this gorgeous music on. It's a fucking wonderful instrument and every single thing about it is important. It, it's, people don't realize that. They, they think everything is, it's all about the pickups or it's all about what kind of strings you're playing with or it's, it's all these different things and it's like, no, it's everything. It's literally everything all together is what makes the instrument. If one thing is off on the instrument, the whole instrument is off. You can't have, you know, to have a quality instrument, everything needs to be sort of succinct with each other. Everything needs to be perfect. Everything needs to go together well. You know, if you just have a slight bow in the neck or a twist in the neck, you're fucked. The whole guitar is shit. It doesn't matter how gorgeous the fucking wood is. It doesn't matter how nice the body shape is or how ergonomic it is. It doesn't matter. If one thing is off, it's fucked. If you cut the nut wrong, it's fucked. These are the types of things, the small things that I wanted to get into. Like, these types of things like that, too. Cutting cutting the different nuts and how to fuck with the, the British saddles and different things like that. But, again, I don't want to delve into that kind of shit if, if you know, 90% of my fucking subscriber base isn't even going to pay attention in the first place. And then the other fucking 10% of people are just shit-talking because they think it's unimportant. You know, that's not the kind of community I want to be a part of. It's just embarrassing to me. So, these are the kind of, this is the kind of shit that I want to get away from and kind of put out there to people. Because I'm, I'm fed up with it. I honestly am. I'm sick of it. This shit shouldn't be happening anymore, you know? People need to come... And realize that everything about guitar is is everything. You know, it's everything about the guitar. And there should not be one more, one thing that's more interesting than the other. Yeah, I mean, yeah, some things are going to be more interesting, but they're not more important. Everything on the guitar is important. And, you know, you have to learn as much as you can about every little thing about the guitar if you really care about it and really love it. And want to have that kind of knowledge where you think you know everything. You have to learn it. Sitting there and acting like you already know. And not, not actually taking in any information is just stupid. It doesn't make any sense. You're never, ever, ever going to know everything. Nobody is. Ever. It's just not the way it is. There's always learning to do when it comes to instruments. There's always different things that can be done. You know, there's always different aspects of things that people haven't talked about or haven't really thought about before. Always. So, keep an open mind, people. Have more of a fucking open mind. 
That's, that's my biggest problem. The closed mind in this, in this community. Open up your fucking minds.